Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because I get to talk about C-sections and while I probably am a little bit biased, I think C-sections are one of the coolest, if not just the coolest surgeries ever. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about exactly how C-sections are done and then reasons why a woman might need a C-section. And I get to use an amazing animation that's been provided by Nucleus Medical Media. In case you're new here, I am Dr. Ali. I am an OBGYN by day and by night, I am a social media influencer, doctor, educator, I don't know what you wanna call it but I share bits and pieces of my life. I love to educate women on their bodies, empower women. We talk about everything from periods to pregnancy to literally everything and anything in between. But to be completely honest, I'm just Allie. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe link down below and become part of my little family here on the internet. I hope you guys are just as excited for this video, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So a C-section is a delivery of a baby that's done through incisions on the mother's abdomen and uterus. Reasons for a C-section can vary whether it's for maternal or the mom's indication, for a fetal or a baby's indication, for maybe it's twins or triplets, or maybe it's failure of your labor to progress. There's a lot of different reasons why a woman might need a C-section. I'm excited to share this animation with you all because I think it is beautifully done. It's so, so good. So I'm gonna pop it here on the screen so that we can watch together. And throughout the video, I'll be pausing it, commenting, describing stuff, so let's start. A cesarean section, often referred to as a C-section, is a surgical procedure in which incisions are made in a woman's abdomen and uterus to deliver a baby. Some cesarean sections are planned. More I know I'm an OBGYN, so I deal with pregnancy literally every single day of my life. I've done hundreds and hundreds of C-sections, just seeing this is so amazing. It's amazing what a woman's body goes through, all of the changes, how big the uterus gets, how you form a placenta that supports this pregnancy and feeds this baby oxygen and nutrients. Forever fascinated. More often, however, the need for the procedure becomes apparent after the onset of labor when abnormal conditions make a vaginal delivery unsafe for the mother or her baby. Common indications for cesarean section include. So I think this is a good time to talk about the fact that overall a vaginal delivery across the board is usually what's going to be best for the mom and the baby. And having a vaginal delivery should always be the goal. But that does mean that there are some medical conditions where a C-section is what's going to be necessary and what's going to be best. So I am very thankful that we do have C-sections because there are conditions where it's just simply unsafe to have a vaginal delivery for the mom or for the baby. So let's go over the indications. Dystocia, placenta previa, and fetal distress. Dystocia, or prolonged non-progressive labor, can occur when the baby's head is unable to fit through the birth canal or its body is in an Correct. unfavorable position, such as perpendicular to the birth canal or buttocks first, which is the breech position. Placenta previa occurs when a low-lying placenta partially or completely blocks this the shows cervical opening. Perfectly what it means to have a placenta previa. If you have the cervix and then you have the placenta sitting on top and then the baby on this side, you cannot start dilating your cervix because the placenta cannot deliver first. That would be detrimental to the pregnancy and to the baby. Fetal distress occurs whenever the health of the baby is in imminent danger, usually from inadequate blood flow through the placenta or umbilical cord. Fetal distress can occur when the placenta separates from the wall of the uterus prior to- Now in this graphic that we're about to watch, the narrator talks about when the placenta starts to separate from the wall of the uterus. This is what's called a placental abruption, and this is an indication in most cases for a C-section. As that placenta starts to detach from the uterus, it's not getting enough blood, and if the placenta isn't getting enough blood, the baby's not getting enough blood. Delivery or the umbilical cord becomes compressed or squeezed. Other conditions that may require a cesarean section include Look at those multiple there. large tumors of the uterus, genital herpes or other infections, or medical problems such as uncontrolled diabetes or hypertension, 
your doctor may use ultrasound testing and a fetal heart monitor to help decide whether your baby should be delivered by cesarean. When a cesarean section becomes necessary, you will be prepped for surgery. If not already in place, an intravenous line will be started and a catheter will be inserted into your bladder to drain urine. In the operating room, you will be given anesthesia. In most cases, a spinal anesthetic is administered to numb the lower portion of your body. Sometimes, however, a general anesthetic will be used. I love that this video is explaining everything. We're able to see what you expect before the procedure, and I think now we're gonna see what to expect during the procedure. Your doctor will begin by making an incision in your abdomen. It will either be a vertical incision from just below the navel to the top of the pubic bone, or, more frequently, a horizontal incision across and just above the pubic bone. This is often called a bikini cut. Your doctor will then make a second incision on the lower part of the uterus. Once the uterus is opened, your doctor will rupture the amniotic sac, if it is still intact, and deliver the baby. The time from the initial abdominal incision to birth is typically five minutes. This is minutes. an amazing graphic. So as you can tell from the graphic, the feet delivered first. So this is the C-section that's being done for a breech baby. The doctor will then clamp and cut the umbilical cord. Did you know cord. that it is still recommended to do delayed cord clamping even during a C-section? So long as the baby is what we call vigorous, breathing on its own, crying, wiggling around, and looks overall healthy, it is still recommended to do delayed cord clamping for 60 seconds. Gently remove the placenta and tightly suture your uterus and abdomen. This typically takes about 45 minutes. Now let's watch their tips for after the procedure. The hospital stay after a cesarean section is usually three to five days. During this time, you will be encouraged to breastfeed, nap when the baby sleeps, and get out of bed often. While most patients are able to take care of their new baby soon after the procedure, full recovery may take six to eight weeks. Your scar will lighten as it heals. It's always important to follow closely with your doctor to make sure you're meeting all of those milestones after the surgery. All right, so that brings us to the end of the animation. Wasn't that amazing i thought that was so cool man this company did such a good job i'm a visual person so to actually get to see something like that so so cool i hope you all enjoyed this video i loved getting to go through this animation with you all i know i'm biased because i'm an OBGYN, but i truly do think c-sections are such an amazing surgery and i honestly feel so honored and so blessed that I get to bring life into this world, whether it's by a vaginal delivery or a C-section. Special thanks to Nucleus Medical Media for their beautiful 3D animations. If you want to see more scientifically accurate animations on anatomy, physiology, diseases, conditions, check out their channel by clicking the link in the description below. Remember that if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love it if you became part of this family, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also down below, I'll leave links to all of my social media, TikTok, Instagram, and my blog, which I actually write in Spanish and in English. Thank you so much for watching this amazing animation with me. I love getting to talk about C-sections and pregnancy with you all. I truly hope you enjoyed it. As always, remember to be kind and show love to everyone around you. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.